Okay, this is a review of the Ace Beam K70. 2600 lumens from a single Cree XHP35 high intensity LED. Alright, so this is what the box that comes in. On the side there you can see it's got uh, 2600 lumens. On the lowest setting it's uh, 1200 hours. It's got a 1300 meter beam distance which is just over point eight miles, uh, 1.2 meter impact resistant, and IPX8 waterproof. All right. And the back. All right, let's open it up and see what we got here. Okay, so inside we have a warranty card. All right, we have the instruction manual. We have the runtime. So, level one is one lumens for 1200 hours, level two is 70 lumens for 75 hours, level three, 450 lumens for 12 hours, level four, 1000 lumens for six hours, level five, 1900 lumens for three hours. And level 6, 2,600 lumens for two hours. Strobe is also 2,600 lumens, and that will run for four hours. All right. Let's check out the light. All right. Comes in this uh, nice holster here. Velcro's on your belt. Get the light out here. in here a little tight so just bear with me for a moment there we go all right all right the ace beam k70 look at that reflector this is why it throws out 1300 meters plus and a tail the tail button does turn it on and also functions as a momentary button. It also does tail stand quite nicely. All right. So features wise, I'll show you the battery compartment in there, but it's, you click it on with the tail and then you go through the mode. So this is level one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then it can go by standby and then to strobe. All right. So that's how the dial, magnetic ring dial works. And to take it apart to get the battery compartment, you just unscrew it here. When I first got it, I unscrewed this little piece here. This actually unscrews. Um, and that's actually how I access the battery compartment. You can do it both ways, but when in the manual it recommends to take it apart this way. So this is the way we're going to do it. All right. So there's the inside of the light. That the side and inside the battery compartment. This is the battery holder. Now the Ace Beam uh, from the manufacturer they recommend uh, not normal 18650 batteries, but they recommend the high drain 18650 batteries. And when I first got the light, or, or when I was first looking at getting the light, I wasn't sure which batteries to get because I have a lot of 18650 protected cells with the button tops on them. But I didn't have any unprotected cells. Um, so I found this company, AOSO. I'm assuming that's how I pronounce it. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. But I saw a lot of reviews on Amazon, and uh, they seem to be very, very good. The batteries I have are the IMR 3500 milliamp hours, which goes along with the specs with the Ace Beam, because I believe when I looked at the specs for the Ace Beam, they used 3,400 milliamp hour batteries to get the run times that they did. Okay. Now, Ace Beam does sell their own batteries, um, uh, but they didn't have any readily available here uh, in the States. They had to come from China. And their batteries were 20 amp uh, runs. These are 25 amp high drain. Um, again, they're flat top. 
but inside the uh, battery holder you can see it sticks out so this works just fine with flat top batteries or button tops I just found the flat tops are much easier to find in the high drain as opposed to the uh, the button top high drain so anyway I put these in here real fast for you guys got four of them here All right, so two, uh, two in one way and two in the other way. All right, we'll put this back in. And we'll screw this back together. Okay. Now, real quick, what else is in the box? It does come with a lanyard. Uh, let's check this lanyard out and see what it is, how good it is. I reviewed the LD75C recently, and their lanyard was not very impressive. It was just a piece of rope, basically. It didn't have anything else. All right, so this is pretty cool. It's got a little latch there. You got your adjustments. You can adjust it to how you like. So that's pretty cool. And in there, you also have an extra two o-rings and an extra tail cap button so that's good to know and that's about it on amazon the company i bought it from also came with a free usb led thing uh, not really that important but anywho all right so let's check it out here. All right, so let's turn it on. I'm gonna make sure it's on the one lumen setting. All right. All right, you can see hopefully the beam there. It's a pretty tight beam. That's level two. Level three. Level four. Getting really bright. Level five. Camera doesn't do it justice, but it's very bright right now in my eyes. Uh, the camera is not showing just how bright this thing is. There you go, level six, 2600 lumens. Incredible. Very intense hotspot. I can't even look at it with my eyes. I, I'm only looking through the camera right now. All right, then it goes to uh, standby. All right, there's standby. And then it goes to strobe. Yep, I went the wrong way, sorry. There we go, strobe. It has an alternating strobe pattern, so it doesn't just flash the same strobe. It, it seems to, to fluctuate that strobe pattern a bit. So, Anyway, all in all, really nice light. I've taken this outside already. Um, we'll do some beam shots here, but uh, there's a bridge about a half a mile down the back of a canal behind the house here. Um, it's about 0.52 miles I measured on Google Maps, so it's about a half a mile away, and this... Thing throws the beam all the way down there so I'm really hoping my camera will pick that up and I'll be able to show you that guys in the beam shots also uh, one more thing if you wanted to tail stand this in order to illuminate a room uh, the second level which is uh, 70 lumens and uh, runs for 75 hours it really illuminates the whole room so I mean in an emergency if you need to light in a room, put it on a table or countertop, this thing would illuminate the entire room, let you be able to walk around, function with enough light to do most things. Uh, so that's a pretty cool feature. I always like it that they can tail stand like that. So I really enjoy that. And of course, it has the one lumens, which is real handy if you want to be able to walk around your house or even outside maybe a bit and you don't want to disturb a lot of people, you can do that too. And it does have the momentary. So again, full click, you'll hear the click. That puts on the one lumens is what I have set on now. And it has momentary, so if you don't even, you don't have to fully click it and you have momentary. And I believe that works in all the settings. Let's try it in strobe. Yes, so you can momentary in strobe too, which is pretty cool. So it's really nice to have the momentary on this flashlight. Uh, it makes a, a really handy and a lot more tactical use if necessary. So that's pretty cool. So 
So anyway, uh, next we'll do the beam shots guys outside. I really hope my camera will pick this up and do it justice because it is phenomenal. It looks like a laser beam in the sky. So, uh, all right, we'll do that next. Take it outside. Okay guys, sorry, real quick before we go do the beam shots, I want to show you a couple other things um, I discovered. So this is the holster it comes in. Um, holds pretty nice. It is a little tight getting in there. But for storing it, when you're not using it, but having it readily available, in other words, out somewhere where you can get to it pretty easily, inside the holster, it, uh, it stands pretty nice, which protects the lens from getting damaged or scratched. So that's, that's really cool. I like that. And the other thing I want to show you was the lanyard. So after trial and error, let me get it out of this uh, holster real quick. Okay, after trial and error, I have this lanyard, okay? Now you can see, I'll take this off real fast so you can see. You can see in the bottom here, you have a little cutout area where the rest of these, where you can attach a lanyard or whatever. But when I first attached the lanyard, what I realized was if I attached it the wrong way, if I attached it like this, okay, and try to move it out of the way, it wouldn't move out of the way, okay? Which made tail standing it makes it wobbly because you can't get it out of the way. So I'm like, well, you know, that kind of sucks because uh, obviously if I want to be able to tail stand in an emergency, I don't want it to be all wobbly, okay? So what I learned is if you take the little clip-on lanyard here and you hook it the other way, right by that cutout, when you put it like this and then you tail stand it, it's totally out of the way because where that cutout is, and it's totally secure. It's not wobbly or anything because it's resting on the lanyard. In that one position, it's out of the way and it'll tail stand nicely. So when you get yours, I would recommend that you attach your lanyard this way right next to the cutout and then put it down and it should be really nice. There's two extra things you can do. Uh, store it in the case upside down, protects the lens. And this is the way you can have your lanyard on there and uh, still have a tail stand very, very, uh, sturdily so uh, hope that helps you out let's go get some beam shots now okay we're outside uh, the first flashlight I have in my hand is the uh, Nightcore MH27 uh, I have it set at the maximum 1000 lumens the Nightcore MH27 has a pretty intense uh, beam and goes about 462 meters so I'm out here at the back of my house uh, along a canal at the end of the canal is a bridge the bridge is about 0.52 miles away or half a mile away from where I'm sitting right now. Um, you can't make it out probably on the camera, but it's way down there. Um, those group of trees right there that you can see, those are about 200 feet away. So just keep that in mind as we compare the ACE beam to the control flashlight here, the MH27 at 1000 lumens. All right. So now we're going to get the ACE beam out. And we'll put it down to the lowest setting here, which is one lumens. Uh, again, you can probably shine it here on the grass. Probably can barely make it out, but it's definitely there. All right, setting two. You can see more, but still has a very intense beam on it. Now I'm showing you those trees over there. Uh, they're about 200 feet away. Um, the ace beam on setting two, you can make it out pretty well with the naked eye, although the camera is not doing it justice right now. Setting three, now I can really make out those trees 200 feet away. I can make out the trees that are about 400 feet away, 400 to 500 feet away pretty well. Lights up the canal a good four or 500 feet at least. Um, pretty good. All right, setting four. There you go. Now you're really getting to see that beam coming out of the ace beam. It's got a very intense hot spot and beam, like a searchlight on it. Um, very intense. I can see down the canal a good, uh, best guesstimate, guys, six to 800 feet right now. All right, setting five. Really intense hot spot now. You can see that beam on those trees over there. Again, those trees are 200 feet away. You can just see that beam just shining down the canal there. Um, there's the trees I told you were 400 feet away, 400 to 500 feet away. Um, really good. Setting six. 
really, really, I mean, you can see everything with this. I mean, the camera does not do it justice, guys. Take my word for it. This thing is amazing. And the intense focus beam on the K70 is just awesome. I mean, you can see the, the beam in the sky. It's just, it's just crazy. Um, but this is quite a thrower. Um, you guys are not going to be disappointed if you purchase this flashlight. If you want the ultimate thrower flashlight, this is it, guys. Um, take my word for it. There's trees again, four to six hundred feet away. Um, the canal, I mean, I can see it lights up the canal almost all the way to the bridge, which is about a half a mile away, which is just amazing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out our drone and I'm going to fly our drone out there to the end of the bridge. And I'm going to turn the drone around and facing me for where I am right now. And I'm going to shine the Ace Beam K70 at the drone at a half a mile away. And you're going to see how tense and how, how good of a beam and how far you can see that beam um, with the K70 at a half mile away from a drone. So we're going to do that next. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the drone I'll be flying a uh, half mile out. And then we'll take a look at the Ace Beam K70 as if you were a half mile away from it looking back. And uh, we'll do that now. The uh, drone footage will be silent as there's no sound on the drone footage. I may be over overlap sound on the drone footage to tell you what I'm doing. But basically I'll be flying it out there a half mile. I'll shine at the highest setting and also shine the strobe at it. And then bring it back. Alright, here we go. Okay, I've flown the drone out a half a mile away. I am now orientating it over the bridge and the street there. Not directly over, but close to it. I'm at an altitude of a couple hundred feet here. Now in the middle of your top middle of the screen, you're going to see the Ace Beam K70 here. Again, half mile away at 2600 lumens. You can see how intense and how bright that beam of light is at that distance. Again, this is a fantastic light, a fantastic value, great for... Uh, signaling an emergency either on the ground or the air. Uh, great for search and rescue in case you needed to uh, look for someone or something. Uh, great reach, you know, 1300 meters and fantastic amount of light output from this single Cree XHP 35 high intensity LED. Um, there he goes. There's a strobe feature going right now. You can see that in the middle of your screen. Um, great value, you know, just for example, my dad had bought a PowerTech destroyer which puts out 2100 lumens at 800 meters. Well, that's retails for around $400. Uh, the Ace Beam K70 is less than half of that. Um, puts out an extra 500 meters of throw, an extra 500 lumens of output. Again, 2600 lumens and 1300 meters. So, fantastic value. I really think Ace Beam has really hit it out of the park with this flashlight. It's a fantastic build. Um, haven't had any issues with this flashlight thus far, and I've been really, really happy with it as an extreme throwing flashlight. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Guys, take care.